What is the value of the expression 5 squared minus open parenthesis 50 divided by 2 times 5 close parenthesis then divided by 5 squared? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? 98% of people get tricked and choose the wrong answer. Let's dive in and break it down step by step together. At the beginning, many people go straight to the expression inside the parentheses because they believe parentheses have a higher priority than the other operations. And they immediately perform the multiplication between 2 and 5 because they think multiplication has a higher priority than division. So, they simplify this expression and write it as 5 squared minus 50 divided by 10 inside the parentheses, then divided by 5 squared. And the next step, they move on to the division between 50 and 10 and replace this expression with 5 squared minus 5 divided by 5 squared. Then, they go to the exponents and simplify this expression to 25 minus 5 divided by 25. And the final step, they go for the division between 5 and 25 because they believe division has a higher priority than subtraction. So, they write this expression as 25 minus 0 0.2, which finally gives them the answer 24.8. Then, they quickly say that option C is the correct answer to this question. But, I have to say, we were tricked and it's not the correct answer to this question. Also, some other people when solving this question, first go straight to the expression 5 squared and simplify this expression to 25 minus 50 divided by 2 times 5 instead of parentheses, then divided by 5 squared. And the next step, they focus on the expression inside the parentheses and solve with the division between 50 and 2. So, they simplify this expression to 25 minus 25 times 5 instead of parentheses, then divided by 5 squared. Then, they perform the multiplication between 25 and 5 inside the parentheses and write this expression as 25 minus 125 divided by 5 squared. Next, they do the subtraction between 25 and 125 and simplify this expression to negative 100 divided by 5 squared. And the final step, they handle the exponent and write this expression as negative 100 divided by 25 which ultimately gives them the answer negative 4. And immediately, they conclude that option A is the correct answer to this question. However, that's definitely wrong. Alright, now let me show you how to solve this expression properly. To solve this question, we need to follow a rule that is called PEMDAS. And this rule, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. It means that we need to perform all the operations step by step in order from top to bottom. Alright, as you can see on the screen, and this expression, first we have an exponent, then a subtraction sign, followed by parentheses, then a division sign, and finally another exponent. According to the PEMDAS rule, we should start with the parentheses first, because parentheses have the highest priority over all other operations. And inside the parentheses, first we have a division sign and then a multiplication sign. It's very important to note that multiplication and division have exactly the same level of priority. In this situation, we must start from the left and move toward the right, performing these two operations in order. So, first we do the division between 50 and 2, and this expression simplifies to 5 squared minus 25 times 5 inside the parentheses, then divided by 5 squared. And the next step, we handle the multiplication between 25 and 5, and this expression simplifies to 5 squared minus 125 divided by 5 squared. Next, it's time to handle the exponents, because according to the PEMDAS rule, after parentheses, exponent has a higher priority than the other operations. So, we can write this expression as 25 minus 125 divided by 25. And the final step, we perform the division between 125 and 25 because division has a higher priority than subtraction. So, this expression simplifies to 25 minus 5, which finally gives us the answer 20. That's great. Option B is the correct answer to this question.